Heavy Dewey, Nick from Bajoneers here. And next up we've got Cannonball. An IPA coming in at 7.4% from Magic Rock. And he's brewed with barley, wheat, oats. Uh, and it doesn't say what hops are in it. So I've had this before. Uh, full disclosure, it was a long time ago. And I remember I had, I had this quite a few times when I was first getting into hazy IPAs, craft beers. So a few years ago now. And I used to think this was just the bomb. You know, at, at the time, this was about the, the, the best IPAs I'd had. This and Looploid IPA from Beavertown. Uh, this was before I'd ever sort of bought beer directs from a, from a craft brewer, so I'd only experienced supermarket IPAs. Um, and, you know, I was loving it, loving life, uh, drinking this sort of stuff. So this cost me, I think it was about three quid, maybe £3.50 from Waitrose. They seem to stock the Magic Rock beers. Um, I suppose the question is, how will it bear up under the test of time? The beer itself is most likely, I mean, it's still, it's still 7.4%, so it's not been dumbed down. I can only imagine that the, the hot bill's the same. I suppose the question is, is if anything's going to change, it's going to be me and my expectations and my palate. Let's check it out, shall we? I'm very intrigued to see how this goes down. It's a lively one. And yes, I know that pour wasn't the best. But I like to get it going. So we've got ooh, what, three fingers of ivory whitehead. Uh, just in the chameleonic from Magic Rock. This is, this is a deeper, this is a proper amber colour beer. Hazy amber beer. Deep amber. It's the best way to describe it. Actually, it's not as hazy as the chameleonic. I can see some lot. I can, you know, I can see something getting through that. And it doesn't say it's double dry hop, so uh, there is oats in it. I suppose that's what it, uh, is responsible for a large part of the haze as well. Uh, let's get the nose. Not getting a lot off it, to be honest. Just very, very faint. Bit of, bit of tropical. And that's it. Mm. It's on game. Let's, uh, let's dive in. Chin chin. Mmm, that is interesting because I used to love this years ago and that is so up front there's a little bit of citrus a little bit of white grapefruit then it fades to quite an intense well it's not that intense it fades to a hop bitterness And that's it. So it is more bitter. So it has got overtones of, of, of a West Day, of a West uh, West Coast IPA, rather than New England. Yeah, so it's bitter rather than fruity. Is there any piney notes in it? That's interesting. So I think this, I didn't say in the can, but I think this was brewed in, and I didn't know at the time, but I would say that is definitely an approximation of a West Coast IPA. Um, it looks half halfway on its way to being a Westie. Yeah, so it's not that hazy. It's a bit hazy. 
Um, it's amber coloured rather than deep orange, which a, a, a classic uh, West Coast IPA is, but the taste. Mm, okay, I'm getting pine now. Yeah, so a little bit of fruit, then hot bitterness, bit of pininess, no dunk. Mm. Okay. Right, so that's really interesting. So my palate has definitely changed in the three years or so since I had this. Um, this is all right. It's a okay fridge filler, but this is not the sort of beer that I would go for now. If you like West, your West Coast IPAs though, and you want a, a decent value fridge filler, uh, with a oh, bollocks. Oh, spillage uh, and it's not even here <laughs> we've got a spillage um, what was I saying yeah so if you like your west coast IPAs and you want some want a fridge filler coming in with a decent ABV yeah so 7.4% so you know a couple of three of them you know you've been spoken to then get them in I must all oh, get a bit of alcohol going there and there, 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 there. Give it long enough and the alcohol comes in. I myself, though, will not be seeking this out again. Uh, so I am going to give this five and a half out of ten, which means for me, I, I wouldn't buy it again. But the caveat to that is, is I'm not a West Coast IPA guy. Um, and if you are, this is, like I say, I, I repeat, this is a really good fridge filler. Um because yeah, craft beer can't an expensive hobby that we have uh, so it's nice to sort of uh, you know fill up the sides with uh, some of the cheaper ones and you won't go far wrong with that if you like that style of beer I personally don't uh, but that's really interesting because that tells me that it's not the beer it's not the beer's fault it's me it's my palate and my expectations um, so fair you know so fair play magic rock yeah um but for me it's a five and a half out of ten from cannonball but like i say i reiterate don't let that dissuade you if you like west coast ipas okay thanks for watching thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you don't comments in the box let me know if you've had this beer uh you know it's, it's widely available uh, so let me know what you think if you've had it if you agree or disagree thanks bye for now till next time cheers